Alright. Hello, everyone. <clears throat> Have you ever thought about, like, when you're scrolling through just the Lego store page and looking at all the cool sets that that are produced each year, like this cool Eldorado Fortress, or this Pink Parrot, which is pretty cool, or even this NASA Man's Rover Perseverance? Have you ever thought that there's absolutely no other toy like this one? Like, yeah, there's knockoffs like Mega Bloks and, I don't know, a whole bunch of other knockoffs. Oh, Lapin, of course. But they never even come close to the quality or the, or, yeah, like the value of Lego. And there's a few reasons for this. Um, For one, as is said on this opinion article by... Roy Schwartz of CNN, which is called um, Why Lego is the Best Toy Ever Invented. Lego it was, was this reporter's favorite toy. And a major appeal of Lego is that it's been around for like a very long time. As you all know, 90th anniversary was on right, June 18th. And, and there's like Lego concerts, conferences all the time. It's like a huge thing and like even parents can pass down their Lego to their children because um, every brick made since 1958 ends up fitting every other one. So collections can go on definitely. And even Duplo can fit with Lego because it's, I mean, I guess it's two times bigger, but you can still fit Lego blocks on it. So it's, it's just a seamless connection between one brick to another. And honestly, Lego's just an overall nice company. Like, they're overall, most of the time, they're pretty honest about their practices and everything. They even, like, they're notorious, even though they're expensive, yes. But with a good, with a high price comes high quality. Most of the time, most of the time. And that's basically what this is, like, Lego delivers each and every single time. Even though there's some people that complain, like, oh, you obviously know, like, oh, there's holes in the, like, clone trooper helmets or, or like, very silly things which really don't matter at the end of the day. Like, I could understand where they could come from at one point, but in, an, in another point, it's like, bruh. It's, it's Lego. Like, there's nothing else like this. It's like the perfect toy for everyone. And even, like, it, Lego even helps with, like, social skills. As you can see, Lego Play has, has been found to help children with autism improve social interaction, possibly significantly more than other therapy methods, benefit hospitalized children's health and rehabilitation outcomes, and allow children with cerebral palsy to demonstrate cognitive understanding and skill. Now, as you can see, Lego is important for people of all ages, all genders, all body types, everything. And yeah, it it, it, it can even be used to teach teach a whole bunch of topics. Like the range of topics that can be taught with Legos is insane. Like for example, um, I believe yeah. Right here, there, this, this, like, I think this com the company that is made by this person named Dr. Ben Nwer, my males, sorry if I pronounced it wrong, he did a text and he's talking about how they were able to replicate the human brain and other parts of the human body, right, just, just with, like, well, Lego-like building blocks, like, they they weren't actually Lego, but they were based on Lego. They're they're made based on the systems of Lego, and that's why Lego's so great. Lego's literally just a system, and the whole world is made of systems. So all systems can technically be be um be uh how do you say it? they can be um demonstrated through the use of Legos. It's very analogous to a lot of different systems. That's what's great about Lego. And like it works for everything. Like especially in STEM. Like look at this. I think they make a lung cell. And making like a. What they call it. A micro on. Or micro human on a chip. So they basically make a. 
and they they're trying to make a whole like human system through a chip but first you have to figure it out um by the organs themselves on a chip and then they can combine all those chips together to make a human well a human system by the way and like like look at this also this is from tel aviv university you can have multiple cells inside, as you can see here. You have one, uh, the lung cells, the, the endothelial cells separated by a membrane. These chips can be elastic, so we can actually mimic the movement of the lung. We can bring air on one side, we can bring blood on the other side, and we can even do more sophisticated things, such as to bring immune cells and bacteria and to see the immune response of the body inside these chips. But when this project started about 10 years ago, there were individual chips. And when I saw this new technology, I said to myself, wow, we definitely need to try to integrate them to make it as a human, small human on a chip. So I joined to this team basically to lead this integration of multi-chips by creating this mini human on a chip. And you can imagine that this human on a chip is like a Lego. You have the heart on a chip and the brain on a chip and the gut on a chip, and you can start linking them together to create this mini me Aside from this Lego human looking incredibly cursed, um, it, it, it really demonstrates, like, the genius of Lego. Like, Lego, if you know their, um, uh, oh yeah, their slogan right here. Only the best is good enough. And literally, Lego in Danish, I think, Legot, means they, uh, means to play well. So literally... The whole point of Lego is to help positively impact the world in the future by building the builders of tomorrow. Or, like, bringing forth the builders of tomorrow. And anyone can be a builder. It doesn't matter who you are, what you believe, anyone can be a builder. And that's really what's great about Lego bricks. They're just universal in that way. And, like, all over the world, people play with Legos. And they use Legos, and they support Lego through these foundations, Lego Education, Lego Foundation, and Lego House website. So it's, it's really amazing all the possibilities of Lego. Even though in recent years, Lego has been focusing more, um, less on creativity and more on license sets, as you can see by, uh, if we go back to the store, obviously it's going to be Spider-Man. Uh, Jedi Starfighter and I guess Hogwarts and Hocus Pocus. Even though those are licensed themes, so there's they're not original content. Lego makes it original by adding in details of their own into the source material, and they create something brand new. And plus, the builder can do whatever they want with the build. Like you, you don't have to follow the instructions um, booklet. It's just there to help guide you through the process if you want to build what the set is displayed as. But you can use those bricks for anything you want. That's basically the power of Lego. It's literally unstoppable. Some other things that are interesting are that, uh, oh, um, Lego can even be used to model systems that help enhance um, camera quality. So they put inkling, ink, Inkjet printed elastomer lens lenses using a Lego platform. They place it on the platform, and then that's how they track like which lens are working and which ones are not. And it's basically it was it's a basically as they say a cost effective platform to perform automated batch characterization of three hundred lens units for quality inspection. So they just. If they see one is not working, they can tell immediately because it's on the Lego base plate. And on a Lego base plate, it's easy to tell the position. Also, something I've been thinking about is like, even Le Lego can be used to teach math. Obviously, maybe not, not math really as complicated as you would think, but maybe like addition or multiplication. Like you had two one by one bricks, you get, you get a two by one brick. Or two one by one bricks. It's 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 amazing how how Lego is how like important Lego is. Also, uh, the researchers involved in this applied optics project were Yulong Song, Jacob Gran, 
Huang Nguyen, Zhen Hu Hu, and Wei Shang Zui. And sorry for mispronunciation. And, and it's by opgoptica.org. Now, uh, I think the last thing that I want to talk about is probably that Legos blocks help make children smarter. And I'll just play this video by John Hopkins University, which is honestly a great university. Like, if, if you want to go to university, that's one that is very good to go to. It's a very good dream to go to this university because they do a lot of good things. All right, let's see this video. Box. What I really oh, it's, and this is the Center for Ta Talented Youth, by the way. A little window into the way they're doing spatial problem solving. Can you picture the world from different perspectives? Can you understand how two puzzle pieces could be rotated to fit together? Things fitting together, that's the kind of problem solving we do in a wide range of domains. So I actually will confess that I've always had Legos on my desk. People joke that I did that once I became a parent. I had them long before I was a parent. What really got me thinking about it, though, was watching kids play with blocks. There's several things we know. One big takeaway for parents would be that we really do think there is evidence that these skills are important for learning. If we examine spatial skills early on, they will be predictive of how well a child does in math. The bigger takeaway message is that what we're talking about with spatial skills is something that probably underlies those academic skills. And the best part about training these skills is that it's largely play. Numerous games really have spatial qualities. Things like Minecraft, which looks an awful lot like building with blocks and with Legos. And kids are playing these younger and younger than what we've seen in past generations. But the reality is, we live and act in a physical world. Working with basic blocks in your hands are probably where going to have the biggest impact. What I actually suspect is that it's really the combination is where our kids ultimately need to go if they want to build these skills really well. As Dr. A. Amy Shelton said, it's it's just Legos are amazing, honestly. They just help with spatial reasoning and recognition. Like I can attest like from my own experience like i i legos have been a like a humongous part of my life like without legos i i don't know i probably wouldn't be as interested in math and and like overall my i don't know i wouldn't be as interested in mathematical reasoning and like science and stuff if i didn't have like these blocks in my in my childhood and it, Literally, as they said, it's just through playing. Like, it's not like literally they're saying like, well, sometimes Legos are used in schools, obviously, because they're helpful. But if you just play with it, your your spatial reasoning skills will improve either way. And with those reasoning skills, you can go further in into math and learn whatever you want in math. Well, obviously, you need to apply effort in math as well. It's not like you'll just be able to close through but it's gonna be a big help if you play with legos very early on and also it's pretty cool that lego is not afraid of like 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 uh appealing to adults and and i don't know just a whole bunch of different people with with their product honestly i don't feel right calling it a product because although it costs money and obviously you buy it it's some it's more like a tool like once you buy it you get helped more by the by using or playing with legos than if you were to buy just another toy like i guess for example i guess like a toy soldier or a toy dinosaur yes those are fun everyone plays with those when they're younger but also they're not provide as much creativity and customizability and like overall help to spatial reasoning and skills that um that CTY researchers showed in this video by John Hopkins Center for Talented Youth. So honestly, yeah, that's basically all I have to say. And just, just I just remember like always just making huge battles and just and just creating a whole bunch of different systems and houses, and and just like I don't have the pictures anymore because they're old. And they were really there are really old cameras and stuff that where I took the pictures of my Legos and my mom took pictures of them, 
But it Lego really is a special a special toy or tool that can be used to further progress humanity in a sense. Although that may seem like an exaggeration to some people, it is the truth and reality that Lego is the perfect toy for everyone and anyone beyond for infinity and beyond. Alright. See you guys.